we are interested in a specific type of brain activity called brain oscillations and how these oscillations are related to human perception, cognition and behavior. Human brain activity shows highly complex dynamic events during rest. This was already recognized by the German neurologist Hans Berger, who performed one of the first human EEG recordings on his son in 1926. He found that brain activity is dominated by rhythmic signal fluctuations, a phenomenon now known as brain oscillations. Since 1926, our recording techniques and analysis methods have significantly improved, and we now know that brain oscillations play a key role in brain processes. Our brain is a complex network of constantly interacting brain areas. How these complex neuronal interactions are orchestrated is an important but largely unresolved question. Now, one interesting idea is that brain areas may group to functional networks when they oscillate in synchrony. Here in the Institute of Neuroscience and Psychology at Glasgow University, we are studying these brain oscillations with state-of-the-art brain imaging techniques and analysis methods. In particular, we use a novel combination of brain recording and brain stimulation techniques. We are using magnetoencephalography or MEG to record brain oscillations and study how they are modulated in different experimental tasks. Once we have identified oscillatory fingerprints of a task, we then take the participant to another lab where we can stimulate the brain by non-invasive brain stimulation techniques while simultaneously recording brain activity with EEG. One of these methods is transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS which allows stimulating the brain in rhythmic patterns at the frequency of the underlying brain oscillations. We here want to illustrate this approach with some of our research. We show how we can decode brain oscillations and how we can cause these oscillations to modulate function. A typical spatial attention task involves the presentation of a symbolic cue instructing the participants to deploy their attention to the left or right visual space, while always fixating a central fixation cross with their eyes. A subsequent visual stimulus is then better perceived at attended than unattended positions. Interestingly, one brain rhythm which is prominent over visual areas, the posterior alpha activity, is systematically modulated depending on the position of attention. Shifting attention leftwards leads to a reduction of alpha activity over the contralateral right hemisphere and to no change or increase over the ipsilateral left hemisphere. Shifting attention in the opposite direction leads to a mirror reverse pattern in terms of alpha changes and perceptual performance. Now, is this modulation of alpha oscillations just an epiphenomenon or is it functionally relevant for the attention-related changes in perception? To answer this question, we invited the same participants into the TMS lab. We stimulated the visual areas with rhythmic TMS at the frequency of individual alpha oscillations and found that we could promote these oscillations. The ultimate test is then whether rhythmic TMS would also affect perception in the expected direction. If we can promote natural alpha fingerprints of attention, then we should also be able to modulate perception if indeed these oscillations play a causal role. Now our data indicate that this is indeed the case. Rhythmically stimulating at alpha frequency bias perception away from the visual field contralateral to alpha TMS towards the ipsilateral visual field as predicted from our previous results. This shows that the alpha oscillation therefore is causally underlying location-based attention and perception and is not just reflecting an epiphenomenon. This is just one example of what is possible. Several studies have shown that brain oscillations are amenable to controlled interventions with possible consequences for behavior. It's still very early hours, but this may well have implications not only for experimental, but also for clinical interventions into brain oscillations.